another snowy evening. We've had a lot of snow this winter. Very heavily regretting not driving a snowcat this winter. But uh, at least I'm getting plenty of practice with a wheel loader. These guys, their wheel loader has summer tires on, which is nuts. As is their placement of vehicles on the intersection there. But that's another matter entirely. A bit sniffly. There was a lot of snow on my car this morning. There's a lot of snow on the road too. Apart from this part, they've ploughed this part, so that's good. No, it's not even slippery. How boring. So we do all of these driveways. What I start with is generally the footpaths and say these sort of parking areas you'll see up here. And the theory is, well, people go walking early in the morning for one, they walk their dogs and whatnot. But if I clear, say these areas here, they've actually moved out, which is good. But if I clear those areas first, then in theory, people should see that we've cleared those, pull their vehicles out of their driveways and then put them into the big parking areas. And then by the time I've finished all the walkways and everything and done some loops of the places that are empty, I can come back and do the driveways if they've moved their cars. Sometimes they don't move them all day. Sometimes they're there all week. Pretty good layer, shit. Gold, gold, gold. This is where we get snow down our neck. If we aren't careful. Bastard. Shh. Copyright infringements, my goodness. Every time. She's fairly reliable, this old girl. I say old, I don't actually know how many hours it's done. 8,319 Not too bad it Does have some weird issue with um, Basically idle control I think Where it just stalls out of nowhere And you sometimes can catch it if you're aware that it might do it but A lot of the times it'll, it'll do it when you turn or when you go to Especially when you close your wings it doesn't like that but apparently it's done it since brand new and they've just never figured out what was wrong with it. Now I apologize, I know this camera is not the best in the dark. There we go. Um, so, this is the machine that I've been using generally for snow clearing. It's an L70F. A reasonable sized wheel loader. Just gonna try and clean some snow off it so I can see where my mud flaps are. And and you know my fire extinguisher. I should buy one of those bloody brushes, but I'm only here for another week. So I don't think the return on investment's really worth it though. These are important to keep clear because it's the air intake. Let's just start blowing snow at me because that's where the fan is.
So we got a tilt hitch on this machine. Most of our wheel loaders actually do have tilt hitches on them, which you can put in float, and that means the the tilt will float by itself. So the bucket will follow the contours of the ground, which is pretty good. And we got a purpose-built snow clearing bucket. It's got wings on it, just about like a snow cap blade, but reverse, I guess, because the wings go back quite far. Currently trying to build a ramp onto the roof of this next house. I'm, I'm kidding. We usually put the pile there, but uh, somebody's left their trailer in the way, so. Outside of the sun is sunstrike, obviously. Winter sun is just always at eye level. And people are moving around now, it's quite late in the afternoon. Well, we're doing this sort of work anyway. So I don't want to reverse into a pedestrian or a car. Oop. There's a soft spot. Don't have enough hands. You come through, come on, buddy. Nope, all right, too late. Fuck around, you have to wait.
are still there. It's always hard to know with people behind you because they, some people just sit there and watch you. Some people don't know what to do, so they stay behind you the whole time. And then some people are actually going into the driveway that you're doing, but you don't, you don't know the, which one's which usually, because the uh, some of the places are rentals, so we don't always have the same cars parked outside. Might regret this. Trying to make a ramp out of snow, I've only really just recently learned how to do it properly. I say properly, I know the theory behind it, I'm not very good at it. But if you cock it up, you can get stuck quite easily. And uh, these machines are quite heavy. I don't really want to make the phone call to have to get towed out. You can push yourself a lot of the time, that isn't too bad. These guys must live here because they're still sitting behind me. Or they realize their property is one of the ones I'm about to do, so they're just going to stay behind me and wait until I've done it. Oh, you know what? It's got to turn that back on. That back on. I'm saying that, that still came out pretty well. Maybe you're wondering why I always close the wings. Well, not always, but a lot of the time I close the wings when I'm reversing. Because... I'm still relatively new with this, but if you alter your path even slightly when you're reversing, the front end can swing and bounce around quite a lot. And yeah, that doesn't, it doesn't look like it's very far, but you're adding quite a lot of uh, extra width to the machine when you got your wing open. And it's a lot wider than the machine itself, probably another meter or so. So you're very likely to hit something. Takes another couple of seconds, but spending another couple of seconds is better than um, smashing up someone's house or their vehicle or whatever. Say. It's quite hard to see with the sun directly behind me and that's the direction all the cars are going to come from as they come back to their house. I want to say my hands aren't big enough. My hands are quite big and they still don't reach all the levers. Sasquatch to be able to reach them all at once. I've often been told I look like a Yeti, but I don't have the wingspan or handspan of one. So much of this the boss man's done. He's clearly been up here this morning. Just gotta check for cars.
and sunny. That sun is right in the way. You're trying to weave between houses and not rip up stairwells and manholes and all sorts of crap. You don't really want to be blinded by the sun. Last of me fuel. What am I going to do now? <clears throat> this is my least favourite section to do. It's just an overly complicated area. A lot of snow in here too. Sort of got to do a bunch of loops, a whole bunch of figure eights and then the backyard area is basically another house. I'm not really sure what it is, whether it's a guest house or a, um, I don't know, sauna room. It's a pretty big sauna room, if it is. It's just very, very wide. There's this wall, so you can't push snow in that direction. And it catches snow like a bastard. pulled a lot of snow out of here. Let's see if I can do this without digging up the backyard. It's sort of a mix of like shingly stuff and base coursey stuff, but the shingly stuff is not very good because the uh, the bucket picks it up really easily and there's some of it there. The owners of these properties don't really want us pushing all their, you know, their driveway surface off the edge, but if it was as easy as just not doing it, then we wouldn't do it. But it's a bit more complicated than that. I think I'm gonna get too carried away today. There's actually not that much snow here, which is good. Cut through here. It's also not flat. See all the different grades and gradients and shit through here. It's not so easy to do. I'm not going any further because I'm pretty sure there is snow. I'm pr like I'm pretty sure the bank is about here. Maybe a little bit further back. All this is snow. It's just been packed in over the few weeks we've been here. I 
think I'll leave that. That'll be all right. All right, now the awkward part. At least there's not much snow. As you can see, there's been days where we've had very large amounts of snow back here to dig out. There's not much room. And if it's icy, you've got to be real careful when you turn this corner. I used to go in the other way towards the backyard, but it's actually easier this way because you're going uphill. When you come around this corner, sometimes when you're turning, because the bucket's floating, sometimes the bucket digs in in one corner and then uh, it makes you sort of sail, it lifts the front of the machine up and then you start sort of drifting towards the the wall, which is not good. They have to shovel that, that's not quite something we can do with the machine. Oh, this roof's getting a bit, <laughs> a bit snowy. straightforward today but I've been in here when the snow has actually been flat across here and uh, yeah you end up stuck in here for a while because it's quite hard to get it out because there's nowhere you can really push it usually you can push it to the side somewhere but they've got a fence all the way around so you have to not bury the fence I've been pushing it out here That'll do. Got a car in there, is there a car in there? like that so you could you can tell there's a balcony and some steps coming down usually they're supposed to pin the end so you know where it is if they haven't done that or if they have maybe someone's ripped it out when they've come in that means you've got to be very careful with your wings because you want to take out as much as possible but you don't want to risk hitting their house or ripping their balcony off
there's a sled in there. You can just see the cover there, so there's a, yeah, snow sled, snow scooter. Ski do, I suppose you'd call it. Gotta be bloody careful with that, because I leave them here for a few weeks, they get buried like that, and they don't mark them. You end up running over them or hitting them with your wing or whatever. I haven't, but I can see how easily it would happen. Gotta be very aware. I've got a lot of shit here they need to mark out. 